Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Among in Cloud. In this video, we will be discussing some common scenario based questions you might encounter in AWS exams and their solutions. So before getting started, I would like to let you know that there are part one and part two video of the same common scenario based questions. It is already available on my channel. If you have not checked that, I will make sure to provide the link to that in the description box below. Go check that out and also learn from there, right? So now let's get started with this particular video. So in the first scenario, you need to implement a fan out messaging system. How can you achieve this? So to implement a fan out messaging system, you can create an SNS topic. You might be knowing what is SNS, that is simple notification service with a message filtering policy and configure multiple SQS, that is simple queue service queues to subscribe, so to subscribe to the topic. So this will allow you to broadcast messages to multiple queues simultaneously. In the next scenario, you require a database with read replication latency of less than one second, which AWS service can fulfill this requirement. So to achieve this solution or to achieve a database with a read replication latency of less than one second, you can use Amazon Aurora with cross region replication. Aurora provides fast and efficient replication capabilities ensuring low latency for read operations across multiple regions. In the next scenario, you need to you need a specific type of load balancer that uses UDP as a protocol for communication between clients and thousands of game servers worldwide. Which load balancer should you use? To handle UDP based communication between clients and game servers, you can use the network load balancer. So this load balancer supports TCP and also UDP protocols, making it idle for managing the traffic between the clients and the game servers. In the next scenario, you want to monitor the memory and disk space utilization of an EC2 instance. How can you achieve this? So to monitor the memory and disk space utilization of an EC2 instance, you can install the Amazon CloudWatch agent on the instance. So this agent collects system level metrics and sends them to the CloudWatch, allowing you to monitor and analyze resource use utilization. So I have made a complete video on this, which is available on my channel. You can check that out and it is a working solution. The next scenario, you need to retrieve a subset of data from a large CSV file stored in an S3 bucket. So what should you do? So to retrieve a subset of data from a large CSV file in an S3 bucket, you can perform an S3 select operation based on the bucket's name and object's key. So S3 select allows you to extract specific data from large objects reducing the amount of data transferred and improving performance at the same time. In the next scenario, you have to upload one terabyte of file to an S3 bucket. How can you achieve this? So the solution to this is to upload large files efficiently to an S3 bucket. You can use Amazon S3 multi-part upload API. So this API allows you to upload large objects in parts, enabling parallel uploads and resumable transfer. The next scenario, you need to improve the performance of an application by reducing the response times from milliseconds to microseconds. What service can help achieve this one? So the best solution to achieve faster response times in microseconds range, you can use Amazon DynamoDB Accelerator, which is also called as DAX. DAX is an in-memory caching service for DynamoDB that significantly reduces database read latency and improves application performance. In the next scenario, you want to retrieve the instance ID, public keys, and the private IP address of an EC2 instance, 
how can you achieve this information so this is most widely asked questions even in the interviews so the best solution would be to retrieve the instance id public keys and public ip address of an ec2 instance you can use an url which is also called as magic ip address 169.254.169.254 slash latest slash metadata log into the ec2 instance type the url you will be able to see all the details i have made a separate video on this which is already available on my channel go check that out in the next scenario you need to route internet traffic to resource based on the location of the users how can you do this the best solution to route internet traffic based on user location you can use the route 53 geo location routing policy so this policy allows you to direct users to a specific resources based on their geographic location providing a localized experience so that concludes our discussion on common aws exam scenario based questions and their solution remember to familiarize yourself with these scenarios and understand the appropriate solutions to excel in your aws exams so thank you all for watching if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to our channel stay tuned for more aws exam tips and tricks happy learning until next time bye bye